Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, we're taking a look at another Voss Deed knife today. Now this isn't um, a new model, it's a new version of an existing model. It's the Mini Nightshade. Now you guys know I was a pretty big fan of the full size Nightshade. First time I've had the Mini on the channel. Really, really like the blade shape. That Shylin Cutter as they call it, you know, it's kind of that bamboo leaf shaped blade, but really, really digging it. So we're going to see, see how the mini sizes up. Well, smaller, we know that. But anyway, so what do you got here? Well, this version is a very, very vibrant blue aluminum. I mean, it that looks, that looks pretty sharp. And I know there's a couple of people out there that are really going to dig the blue and black combo for sure but as you can see there that aluminum has got some milling going on now it doesn't carry through the center of the blade but it is on the edges we definitely have some contouring going on which is very nice um I do have a little bit of a backspacer going on there probably mm, maybe about 25 30 percent coverage on that backspacer reversible pocket clip i know we're making some people happy there <coughs> pardon me and it's fairly deep carry i mean you do have a little bit sticking out of your pocket you've got the loop over clip trying to be deep carry but like i said you will have a just a little bit you know the shape of the handle you know not a lot not a lot and we have a lanyard hole so i hope i hope we are making some people happy now i know there's some people out there that aren't crazy about the crossbar lock I don't mind it at all. Uh, there again, you know, if it keeps me out of the cutting path, you know, I I'm good. I'm good. Now, I will say one thing. Uh, when we when we get there, we'll talk about the, the crossbar lock a little bit. But as far as the construction, I mean, it's done very, very well. Good centering, fit and finish, done very, very nicely. Yeah, overall... It, it's very, very well done. So, now, like I said, you do have a crossbar lock. You do have the dual thumb studs for deployment. I mean, you can deploy it with the crossbar lock if you would like to do so. Absolutely. But, now, with this crossbar lock, it's nice. They do send you some extra springs there. Uh, the springs are small, obviously, as you can see. Not very robust, so what that means is you've got a very light, very light retention on that blade. So it doesn't take a lot of force to get that blade out of there. So, uh, I did drop it the other day up here um, on the floor, carpet, thank goodness, and the blade did pop open. So, I mean, that is one thing to think about. You know, those lighter springs, uh, the lighter the springs, kind of the less retention you are going to have holding that blade back. Now, as far as the springs holding up, there again, I have yet to break an Omega spring like that, you know, that are used in the crossbars. But I know some people do, you know, I seeing that I use a lot of different knives. You know, I can kind of understand that. I'm not using, like, my bug out or anything every single day. So, I don't know. But I do know that actuating the lock on both sides, vice one, you know, you're going to prolong the life of those springs. So, just something to think about. If you do that and you still break springs, well, yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's a thing. But, all right. Shylin Blade Cutter, or Shylin... Uh, cutter blade style 14C28N definitely definitely digging that it's got a really nice well it had a nice until I fingerprints all over it there you go got a really nice satin grind going on there looks I don't know do you guys do you guys dig that blade style I really do I just you know it's kind of that drop point you guys know I like curves speaking of curves we got a little bit of curvature in the handle so yeah now I'm really really digging it now our our thumb studs are out of the cutting path that is very nicely i think the kind of the shape of that blade 
kind of adds aid in that. Uh, Choil is definitely coming out to that plunge pretty well. So all good as far as that goes. But just something to think about as far as that, you know, lighter retention with those lighter springs. So spec checking. What are we doing? Well, we're checking out. We're looking in. It's just over six inches. We're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, right about six and a quarter. Overall handle is going to be about three and a half, which should give us about a two and three quarter ish inch blade. Cutting edge is going to be probably just shy of two and a half, right about two and a half, honestly. And then our grip length, uh, you could kind of stretch it out. I mean, point to point right here, you're looking at about two and three quarters. But the way my hand sits on it, you know, I'm kind of off that point to point, but I'm on the back of that handle. But it's not uncomfortable at all. So you could stretch it out to three and a quarter. But those of you with much larger hands, I don't know, might not feel as good in your hand. Now, sometimes when I'm holding a knife and my pinky, you know, comes off the end of that blade, it does help lock it in. So I don't mind that in a lot of cases. But just some something to think about as well. Let's do, we're going to do a bug out first because it's going to be a lot closer. And it is also that axis style lock. But there you go. Bug outs a fair... Got a, got a decent amount of length on it. And I know the PM... There it is. I was going to say, I know it's here somewhere. Uh, the PM2, obviously. The bug out's going to be larger. The PM2 is going to be much larger as well. We'll get a weight on it. So we are looking at 2.2 ounces. Fairly light knife. I mean, it's a smaller knife. And 60 grams. Very, very good. And of course, going to take a look at our carry. Now, like I said, you know, it's trying to be deep carry. But you do have a little bit peeking out there in the vibrant blue. You can really notice that. Now, let's see about the fifth pocket. How does it work? This fifth pocket, like I said, is a little shallow. But... Fits in there pretty well also. And that's, you know, it's angled. So, like I said, it's a little shallow up here. But you get it back there in the corner. And it sits in there pretty nicely. Not too bad. Retention, as you can see there. Retention is pretty darn good. Let's do it down here so it's a little bit easier to see for you. Get it in there. Goes in fairly easily. And... And a decent amount of pop coming out of there. Not too bad. You can you can manipulate it so it's not too stout. Maybe could use a little bit of help. But overall, uh, very well done. Fit and finish, not an issue. No issue with the fit and finish and all. Ergonomics, I have no issue with the ergonomics. Uh, the clip hits me right where I need it to for a comfortable grip. It's small, so those of you that don't tend towards smaller knives, I totally get that. Other than the fact that, like I said, with those lighter springs, the retention isn't as hardy. It's got great action, don't get me wrong. I mean, it flips open very nicely, shuts very easily. Every once in a while, I get a little bit of bounce back, but overall, you know, it's a really decent little knife now this one this blue aluminum is going for 75 not too bad aluminum 14 c 28 n it is a little bit smaller knife but overall i don't think it's too bad as far as price versus materials go and definitely uh construction material you put it all together 75 is not a bad price not a bad price you might be able to find it you know uh at a different retailer that offers coupon codes, maybe so. Get it there, save a little bit of money, for sure. Absolutely. Uh, but other than that, you know, not a bad little knife overall. I'm really actually digging it. And it has a lot to do with that blade style. The blade style and the curvature, the handle, the ergonomics. Yeah, for me, it, it's a decent little knife. I am 
I do have to watch those springs. It's something I, I keep in mind. But now, like I said, uh, thank you to Vosteed for sending this out. Really, really appreciate it. Of course, you know, like most of these knives that get given away, they're going to get given away on the channel because, well, that's just what I like to do. So keep your eyes open, guys. It'll be headed your way sooner or later at some point. So really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Vosteed. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking it out with me today, as always. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Bye-bye.